My name is David Fitzgerald. I've been comedy for five years and I'm from Ireland. Come on, come on. Come on. No. <laughs> yes! yes! So last year I climbed my hardest boulder, which was um, Soul Revolution in Glenmalore in Ireland. Um, and it has eight to ten moves depending on how you do it and all of them are really hard and it's very friction dependent and condition dependent and skin dependent so as soon as I completed that I looked for something similar and the first thing that popped into my head was uh, Voyager Low Start. The thing that is most attractive about the climb is that it's just such a striking line it kind of juts out of the, the hillside which is just really cool. I heard about it a long time ago and I've always wanted to try it so um, I came over for a week and this is the one thing that I wanted to try the most and um, I think I had a total of oh, I think about 14 goes over three sessions. So I start on the two middle holds, um, probably the best holds on the climb. I make a big move out outright to the small crimp. Um, I hike up my left heel onto a small quartzite crystal edge. I pose that with a little pebble under the roof with my right toe. Then I roll over, I catch a big pinch with my left hand. Um, then I make a big long move out to this slopey crimp around the lip. Um, I cut loose, bring my left heel up higher to this little pebble. Um, then I come into this intermediate just before the jug at the top. Ale, ale. Come on! Oh, 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 oh shit! Oh! No way! Oh, oh Christ! I think we're gonna give it a break for now and come back tomorrow. It's, it's probably raining. raining now. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, we got it for the crack of dawn. Trying to get the conditions. Hopefully it paid off. Sticky damp. Yeah, fell off the last move a few days ago and we've had like, just not the best run of weather. So I leave tomorrow and yeah, gonna try. Come on. Come on, babe. Ale, come on. Ale. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Ale. Ale. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Slow, dude. Tight, 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 tight. Come on. Come on, Dave. No. Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't let go! Oh my god! No! Oh my god. No! I should have bumped! Ah! Jesus age! Second, well done! No! Oh my god! Oh. I, I need a towel! I fell off a jug. <laughs> I lose all my friends. My family will Ireland disown me. Will disown you, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna leave like that. I got the juice. Tight, tight. Come on, dude. Come on! Come on! Where are you thinking he's like slurped out you? Yeah. Oh, no.
Oh, I that. Oh my god. Do you think it was on the pinch? The, the big pinch? Is it on the tip tip or on the tip? Uh, it's on the tip. Oh, that's a nasty one. Yeah, that's a big hole. Hmm. terrible oh man everything felt so bad and I didn't even because I'd never seen that before I, I didn't know where the joke was <laughs> so I just threw for something and I managed to catch it oh I go home happy now what a morning yeah huh nice this is the proudest thing I've ever spotted anyone <laughs> I am well psyched by this oh I went through all the emotions there <laughs> <laughs> Drop the joke, split a tip. <laughs> Almost died on the sand. <laughs> Started raining. Yeah. Oh my days. What a roller coaster. Oh my god. <laughs> now for the rest of Burbage. Class. Yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Good day, Hat. Good day. To the pub. Like <laughs> 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 they had beer. Uh, we're going to try the Hills of Ice. It's just up there. Um, it's 8 8 plus. Let's go! It's just like a special place because I came here and I tried, uh, tried this climb when I wasn't really at the level of being able to do it. So I kind of had a bit of an epic on it and it lasted a lot longer than it should have. Yeah, I don't know how many times we've been here, but it's like, oh, it's nice. It's nice coming back. There's like a project to it. There's a sit start that I want to work next year. Jesus, it looks amazing. I have to mono this little crack. <laughs> I don't think I've ever monoed on granite before, but... Hello, my old friend. Yeah. God. Kind of friends slash enemies. <laughs> it's Whoa. cool though, it's just sitting here. This is like benchmark I'd see. This is like... Or harder. <laughs> But these holes are shit. It's like dripping wet. I don't think any climbing is going to happen today. No. Um, maybe inside. So due to the climate in Ireland, I usually spend most of my time training inside, just trying to get stronger so that when the chance does come up, um, I'm able to get out and then do the things that I want to do really quickly. Um, so that's kind of my focus at the moment, just training as much as I can to get stronger and then going out and doing anything that I want to do when I want to do it. So I, I train on hard boulders for about two to three hours and then I'd add in an extra hour of 
um, like fingerboarding or campusing or uh, core work. Um, so I do a lot of rings and um, ground core work. I don't know, I've spent the majority of my past five years here <laughs> just locked in this little room. It's good, it's small, but it's effective, like it has everything. Because Voyager is just this like kind of overhanging prow, most of your time is kind of like, a lot of your time is like swinging out and putting your feet back on and um, a lot of the holds are very similar to these. Um, not in texture, but in kind of like in size and to be able to hang them, it just means you'll be a lot more comfortable than getting, getting your heels up. Um, and then if you work on your core, you'll have that sorted. So it's kind of like everything's coming together then. I train a lot on the board. Um, I usually have a circuit of problems that I've made up over like over weeks or months and then I collect those together and I, I train on them until they feel really easy and then I can bang them out one after another with very little rest in between. That's kind of what I like to do and then that builds a lot of strength endurance as a result and it, that's, it really helps with, with um, in training for climbs like Voyager Low Start. And, That's just automatic. That's automatic, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's so weird. So Ben Moon climbed Voyager in 2005, and then the next year he climbed the low start, um, which, which at the time was the, or still is, the hardest thing in, in, on grit. It's really impressive because it, it's such a striking line that's there and no one else had, had been able to touch it until Ben and then Ben came and, and just and did it. Fucking yes! Come on! He he took grid climbing to kind of a new level with Voyager Low Start. I think that was that was one thing that really attracted me to to trying Voyager Low Start was that it was it has a lot of history to it. Um, first AP plus on grid. Really striking line and just climbs beautifully so So uh, we've got a new team of spotters in. Don't let him eat my super food. To really like help out and manage how Voyagers climb. It gets kind of high. So uh, Dave there is getting in on the action, and Shadow Fax is also going to help out. Go. 
I guess I guess what I search for is that um, is that moment where you're not really it doesn't really even feel like you are climbing it feels like you're in a different headspace go for it, go for it. come on Where you're not, you're not really aware of anything else that's going around you. Um, it happens rarely in climbing, but it's the searching for those moments where you, where you don't really understand what you're doing until you're at the top. And then you look back and you don't really understand how you did it. I think those those moments come now and again, and um, they're addictive. what keeps me going in climbing it's what will always keep me going in climbing yes Thank you. 